And we're getting ready to go into this new it's game here. It's going to be here. super quick. What Watch. Jacket is 40 minerals wearing? per minute, 60 seconds, two-thirds a mineral, a second per SEV. You lose eight minerals, so you need 12 seconds of time. If you're not going to make your uh, drone more than 12 seconds away from your overlord being finished, then it's worthless to actually do the double extractor trick. Boom. Headshot. My eyebrows are so curled up right now, Andre, that I'm starting to get a unibrow because I am so confused by everything you're saying. It's math, dude. And no, it's, it's not even not math, math. But you see, the whole idea of how good you can is you have to also be able to teach math, man. You understand it, but you, your, your communication of it isn't. Well, I don't have a chalkboard, dude. It's all. <laughs> you've probably been. It's all abstract, man. You've probably been taught only by visuals. That's how Americans. Actually, teach. That's mostly. why they're so far behind the math system. Is that why it is? Is that we're, we're going to make a huge uh, swing not. at American system? Absolutely not. But American education system is. Neither of these players are American. Not as efficient as uh, both of these players others. had Korean education, pr Korean programming training, and you can see that these guys are definitely some of the top t Korean players that we can afford at the NASL. They're both going for refinery before mm -hmm. their barracks. That means they're gunning for the factory. When you finish your barracks you have just enough to make a single factory it makes your factory the most efficient um, you can just oh get out your tech as fast as possible it allows you what are we seeing oh uh, a proxy barracks again it allows um, you to gosh. make banshees really really quickly and look at this rain is the one that's being a little bit cheeky man this guy is cheeky 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 monkey now Miki. I think he's planning on, is he planning on actually lifting off and then <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I use. That that's what terrible. I watched my friend do in the beta. Like he didn't know how to play a Terran or RTS in general. He's like, oh dude, buildings can lift. So he would literally proxy three of them and lift them into the opponent's hey, base. Hey, don't make fun. And Boxer did that, man. On maps like Scrap Station, where the mains were so big, like he'd be able to <laughs> hide it so well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was so sick. I was like, and god dang it! Ever since I've been hanging out with Kevin Rotterdam, I say everything is so sick. Oh, so sick. Oh, man. it's so sick, man. Oh. Unbelievable, that's so sick. <laughs> and he uses it both in a good and a bad way. Like, if something is good, it's sick. If something bad, is sick. <laughs> if something's actually ill, it's oh, sick. Oh, look too. at this. Okay, Gonzi was going out here, looking at the uh, middle expansion, checking out if there was any proxy. Saw nothing. I thought he might have gone over to this right hand side, but no. Does not. Oh, okay, so Gonzi immediately placed the tech last. So, this is the fastest rush to uh, starport as possible. Now keep in mind, Rain did pick this map, and one base play for a while was notable, but man, this is so interesting. This is definitely a secret play. He's making Hellions. Now he could opt to get a really quick medevac and go for a very fast Marine Hellion lift play, but the interesting thing is Gonzi hasn't scouted his opponent. Yeah, neither of these players are actually scouted. Wow. And look how close these Marines are. <laughs> They're like, if they move over, no, they wouldn't be able to see that factory still. But my God, it's like, how unfortunate. If those Marines stayed there, he would have saw, or he would have seen the two Hellions pop out. But here we go. The first two Hellions will start engaging, and they don't get good fires. Wow. Yeah. Um, that was uh, definitely not the engagement not that Rain wanted, but he got some pretty good information. He just sees five Marines. Now he says, well, you know, he doesn't have that much going on, so maybe he could do, oh, he's scouting with the barracks. And that's very, again, a cheeky move because that's revealing that he proxies the barracks. There's no way the barracks gets mm -hmm. there that quickly. What he could actually do is land his barracks, like, directly and block on it top. Yeah, on. make him a, a <laughs> block, man. That would be so, so sick. Yeah, man. Ooh. Oh, nice two marine oh, pickoffs. Wow. That was really good. That was really clever. Oh, and the ramp is not protected whatsoever. The Banshee does get out here. He's queued up a bunker also, but Gonzi can't build it. Now, Rain, is he going to make this push work? SCVs are being pulled. Keep in mind, Rain, he does have his building's proxy, so he can reinforce very easily, but a lot of these SCVs are pretty tender right now. And remember, these are not drones, so it takes four shots for a Hellion to kill an SCV. I don't think he got any. Uh, no, zero workers killed by Rain. That was a Big oh, blunder. Man. Not good for him. He's way behind now. Gonzi, he is just on he fire. Is so good. Yeah, I mean, I thought Rain had solid TVT because of, you know, practicing with Alive, but Gonzi's showing just solid play, great defense, and great reaction to something very unusual. Definitely. And what can Rain really do from here? I mean, 
He has to keep committing more and more units. That gets him theoretically further and further behind because as he loses more units, he has to say, well, are they really making me anything? Is it cost efficient? Let's look at the units loss tab. It's just about double the efficiency. So you can look at it this way. Gonzi is twice as effective as Rain has been all game long. Gonzi showing why he is the turn to beat right now in this series. And Rain, what is his follow-up? He's still making Hellions, still making Marines, and there's no signs of uh, him getting a second gas, whatever, to transition out of this composition. So sticking with Marine and Hellions. A good a scout here also from Gonzi with an SV to see what his opponent's composition is. And I feel like Gonzi should be able to defend anything that comes his way. Sure. He's got and the Viking advantage. He's, he's doing the right thing, just making Command Center inside his base, putting out this bunker before he actually pushes out. This is all just correct play, defending against any one or one base all in. It's just perfect play. Oh. oh Gonzi does move out here. The bunker's much. not finished. The Marines are on a hot retreat as we do see the bank, uh, the barracks, I was gonna say the bunker, scouting the way. Gonzi pulling a lot of his SCVs. There's a lot of Hellions, but the tank under repair. Not a lot of DPS with those Hellions to take out the tank immediately. And Rain isn't done just yet. He's pushing in here. The tank is really low. The SCVs can't repair it in time. And all of a sudden, Gonzi is forced to pull even more SCVs. Rain also pulling his SCV train. It's, it is a cluster fest here. I can't see what's going on. But in the end, Gonzi seems to have stabilized here. Wow. Yeah, more importantly, this one Banshee over here is going unopposed. And oh, there's wow. nothing that Rain can do. All of his units are so far away. He needs to continue up with this attack. But really, there's nothing that uh, Ooh, that Rain oh. can... What are you doing about? Sorry, no, the Banshee almost died to the turret because Gonzi wasn't careful. He floated almost, almost right straight into the turret. And now you see Rain finally reacting. But Rain's still pressure on the front. He got his Viking harassing the Supply Depot. Trying to see if he can use them in the battle. And there it is. GG. GG. So Rain will fall, ladies and oh gentlemen, man. giving 2-0 advantage to Kanzi. That will give him the series win. And it's the 2-0 two, 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 two record. Yeah, nice. Kanzi, he beat Sen last week. He's the only, no, he's one of two people right now to have a perfect record. The other no, person? He didn't get, he, Sen beat him one game. You beat him in game number two. You're right. I remember that. Dang it. Beach. You're right. You're it right. was You're such right. a sick game. That was a good game, too. I stopped saying sick. It was, <laughs> a, it was a great game played oh, by Sen. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad, Rati. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Guys, that was game two, and the series decided there as Rain drops, uh, or just fumbles his play there, and not able to really follow up on his proxy. It was really interesting. If it worked, it would have been really cool, because we saw builds like that pop up on the European scene with Marine Hellion Medivac timing. Unfortunately, not enough, as Gonzi takes the win, despite playing a huge day at MLG. Guys, that game was brought to you by Epson. Thank you so much for providing our projectors for lots of things like our bar crafts, our Sunday showdown this Sunday. Check out Epson.com for more information.